All right, everybody, if you are a foodie, you don't want to miss this. Guide your way through Fall River's variety of Latinx restaurants and food markets in their new Latin American food tour. Joining us today to give us a preview of the delicious meals is the executive director with Viva Fall River, Patty Rigo. Good morning, Patty. Good morning. Welcome back. I'm so glad you were able to come back and join us again and talk about the uh, the great uh, the great restaurants because I think Fall River has, oh, well, I was just saying, when I was a kid, we'd go to Fall River all the time, Chinese restaurants, everything, and just delicious food and they really have had a resurgence of amazing restaurants in Fall River. Absolutely and I mean of course we're you know very well known for our Portuguese cuisine but yes. in the last couple of years I mean there's been an explosion of Latinx restaurants and I just wanted to um, to take the opportunity to kind of introduce people to this new cuisine. I mean, it's so similar. All of our cuisines are similar. We've right. got similarities. But sometimes it can be a little intimidating, uh, especially if you don't speak the language. And so the, that was kind of the impetus for this tour, it was just a way to get people to feel more comfortable with what was out there and to learn a little bit more about the cultures and the countries and the people. Um, well, you're, we're talking about Latinx uh, restaurants, and many of these, and I think it's important to note, are family-owned restaurants. Owning a restaurant is tough to begin with. In these times, it's tough to begin with. You're working with your family can also be challenging. Yes. Can also be challenging too. That's but they sure. really are using a lot of their their uh, recipes that they kind of grew up with as well. Absolutely. And so the tour is self-guided, which means you know you can go to any of them at any time that you want. But we did decide to do four feature videos on a couple of the different restaurants, all family-owned to find out, you know, what made them come to Fall River, you know, and, and what are they, what traditions and what are they taking with them here to their new community. Sure. So it was a really great way to get to learn about the differences in these Latin American countries, but also the similarities between the food. And it was just a really fun exploration for me. So you were just mentioning the um, the self-guided uh, itinerary. How does that work? And there's also an interactive map that kind of like goes along with it, right? Yes, absolutely. So on uh, vivafallriver.com slash Latin American food tour online, um, you can see a list of all the places and there's 22 and there's restaurants and bodegas because there are quite a few new markets that have opened up where you can get the items to make your own things sure. at home. Um, and so there's also, like I said, the video series on there and then a map that will tell you exactly where they are and just give you a little bit more information about them as that, well. That's great. Um, talk about, tell us about some of the, the highlights. Um, was it, is it Casa Ivy? Casa Ive. Casa, Casa Ive in there too. Yeah, absolutely. So that's a, a, a great, uh, Ive is the name of um, Johan's mother. Johan was who was one of the people featured in our video. So it really means Eva's house, okay. which is beautiful. But um, yeah, it's a restaurant that combines Dominican and Puerto Rican uh, flavors. And it is one of, it's a co counter service restaurant. So that was also something that I wanted to introduce to people because it's not typical. You know, you usually go and sit someplace right. or you do takeout, but counter service is a little bit more in, in, of a hybrid. So um, we were able to kind of show people that, you know, this is how you do it and, and just speak to them and they'll help you create the meal of your dreams. That's basically. great. That's great. Okay, so um, one of the other thing is, uh, was it Takira El Habanero? Habanero. Habanero. Yeah, so absolutely. You know, they're fantastic because um, they they opened up, they've been around for a couple of years and they have a, a great following, but there are still people who don't know that they're there. And sure. so there's all these hidden gems around the city. They make fantastic, authentic Mexican food um, and also, you know, run by a family. That's also great. Yeah. So how long is this going on? And if someone is, is looking for, I mean, the, the food you show in here, it looks incredible. I mean, it looks incredibly delicious. How long is it going on for? And if we want to find the, the maps and everything, where can we go? Sure. So this will this uh, tour will stay in perpetuity. It'll stay oh, forever. And hopefully we'll add more as more restaurants open. Um, but you will have an opportunity during Fall River Restaurant Week, which is coming up, to visit some of the restaurants that are on this list are also participating in Restaurant Week, right. uh, which is uh, we have 24 restaurants that are going to be taking place March 15th through the 24th. And it's just a variety of dining deals or price fix menus and it spans so many cultures. It's really astounding when you see how many cultures are represented in Fall River's food scene. That's really, really good. It's probably a lot of restaurants that maybe you haven't tried before. Oh, you can so get many. out of, you know, step out of the comfort zone mm -hmm. and give them, a, give them a try. Next time, you need to bring some of that food. I know. I, this is what we, talk, we talked about last okay. time. That's going to be your entrance fee when you come I in. I won't be allowed back. <laughs> Not going to be allowed back. Thanks so much for coming Thank in. Thank you. It is so good to see you. Now you can learn more about Fall River's Latin American food tour over at roadshow.com.